look, it's Simon from school. I see you have yourself an iPhone 14. Knock it off, Chad. It's not an iPhone 14. Yeah, it is. iPhone 14 years old. <laughs> Where did you get that? The iPhone Museum? Very funny, Chad. Who is that boy, anyway? He's from my school. He always picks on me. Hey, do you guys think you could tutor me in computer lab? Sure. Why not? <laughs> Wait, me too. Oh, look, it's birthday boy. Is your mom getting you a new bike with training wheels? <laughs> what? It's your birthday tomorrow too, you know. Yeah, but my mom's getting me a Peloton and my grandma's getting me the new iPhone. Really? A Peloton? I want to try. Yeah, those trainers are amazing. They are. I even follow some of them. Me too, on my iPhone. I got an iPhone. <laughs> oh, is that what you call it? Sure. Why not? Attention passengers, we are coming up on some turbulence. No need to worry. It is expected and should be mild. Turbulence? Nobody said anything about that. Oh, you're just like your mom. That's why she doesn't fly. What's wrong, Simon? Did you forget your binky? Mind your own business, Chad. Do I tell you how to pick boogers? Let me call the stewardess for you. Maybe she'll bring you a blankie. Yeah, maybe she's got some duct tape so you can finally be quiet. Oh, look, Mom. Simon actually made a funny. Don't let him bother you, Chad. Hi, was there something I could get for you? Oh, no. Not yet. When does your drink service start? In just a few moments, we'll come through with the beverage cart. Um, actually, I think that little boy over there wants a blankie. Oh, Chad, you're so clever. Simon has run into Chad, his arch rival from school, on this flight. Looks like it's going to be a bumpy ride. Are they going to do anything about Maybe I can get something to relax you. And what can I get for you two? Uh, yes, do you have any relaxing, like, chamomile tea? Absolutely. Oh, there's the drink lady. Could you get me some ginger ale? My stomach's upset from all this shakiness. Two cups of soothing chamomile tea. Here you go, honey. It'll help you rest. Speaking of phones, Mom, when am I getting my birthday present? Now, Chad, your birthday isn't until tomorrow. Oh, yeah? Then what's that down there? Now, sweetie, I don't want you to spoil the surprise. Oh, look, little Simon's asleep. They must have given him his blankie. Well, since he's asleep, and you've been such a good boy. Yeah, Mommy? I'll go ahead and give you your birthday present early. I think I know what you got me. Here you go. What is this? Chad, you asked for one in red. I asked for a red iPhone, not a Samsung. Does it matter? Yeah, everyone's going to make fun of me at school. Even Simon has one, except it's little. Oh, really? Chad thought he was getting an iPhone for his birthday, but his mom bought him the wrong phone. What will she do to try and fix it? What's that, then? Excuse me. Yes, ma'am? Uh, could you help me get this case off? That's not really something we do. Do you at least have some cleaning wipes? I need to make this thing look like new. Well, I'm sure we have some... That's my phone. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It was on my armrest until you walked by. I can't believe this. Will you tell him to stop bothering us? I'm sure there's a perfectly good explanation. Can I please see your phone? Fine. But it's not his. Thank you. Sir, why do you think it's your phone? I don't know. Why don't you turn it on? Oh, okay. 
He must have switched it on me. Now can I have my phone? Sorry for your trouble, sir. Now, what did she do with my case? What's that then? That's not... Is it? Could it be? It is! Is he getting a new iPhone? Ooh, I better use the ladies' room while I still can. Let me see that phone. Uh, okay, Mommy. I see you don't have the phone anymore. I hope you flushed it. Sorta. Hey, Grandma, where do you want these bags? I uh, just put them in the garage, but... But before you go, I want you to open this. <laughs> this is the new iPhone? Yes, I bought it at the Apple Store and everything. Grandma, this is not an iPhone. This is an Android. Uh, oh, do they sell those at the Apple Store too? No, Grandma, somebody ripped you off. Well, I'll go down there and straighten this out. I'm sure they'll take care of it. Oh, great. Thursday special again. Let me guess. Mystery meat. Hey, girls, guess what I got for my birthday? A Peloton? When can we come over and see it? Yeah, whatever about that. Uh, no, the newest iPhone. Yeah, now we both have one. Let me FaceTime one of you girls so we can go out. I heard you can use the iPhone to download courses to the Peloton. Really? I want to ride the Swiss Alps. Not me. I want to go to Hawaii. Not me. I'm using it to uh, sled through the Arctic. I thought the Peloton was a bike. Uh, not mine. I got the new one. It does both. Whatever. <laughs> yes, ma'am. How can I help you? Hi, I need to return this iPhone I bought. Okay, is there anything wrong with it? I don't think so, but my grandson said it's the wrong phone. Oh, well, would you like to exchange it instead of returning it? That's a great idea. Ma'am, this isn't an iPhone. That's what he said. Somebody must have switched your iPhone for an Android. That's also what he said. Well, you know, there's a way we can track a stolen iPhone. Really? Can you do that for me? Yes. What we'll do is we'll contact whoever has the phone, and if they don't return it, we'll disable it. That's telling them! Now, what about getting a new phone? You guys done yet? Boys, gym class is supposed to be over. Uh, wait, did you girls notice anything different? We've already seen your new iPhone. Oh, did you finally get the Peloton app? No, I'm talking about my muscles. The Peloton trainers are really impressed. Guess what? My grandma finally got me the new Pro Max. Wow, so cool. We should FaceTime. Uh, did I mention to you girls that the Peloton trainers want to date me? The Peloton trainers. Which one? Which one? Pfft, the one that looks like a model. Although, I'd rather go out with you two. 
What? You want to go out with both of us? Uh, yeah. Unless you have a friend. <laughs> Minecraft the movie? I thought you said this was a romantic comedy. Oh, yeah. The good parts are coming up. This is where the boy creeper meets the girl creeper. <laughs> oh, hold on. This is Apple calling. What are you doing with this phone? My mom gave it to me. Well, we have it reported as taken. What do you mean taken? Is something wrong? Oh, nothing. Uh, we got to get out of here. What do you mean you got to leave? Your movie's not over yet. Uh, you know what? I'm late to my other date. Something is wrong with Chad's new iPhone, but what could it be? Uh, hey, sorry I'm late. I went ahead and ordered for you. Yeah, sorry, it's just this lady in a wheelchair lost her puppy and I had to find it for her. Well, at least it's for a good reason. Hi, I'm with Apple Security. I understand we have a stolen phone? Yes, we've tracked him here to this mall. What I need you to do is deactivate the phone and then we'll go apprehend them. Deactivate it. Got it. And then, someone got their cat stuck in a tree and I... What? Deactivated? Can I use your phone? My phone? Yeah, I guess. Hello? Hey, Mom, something's wrong with my phone. Really? Mom, they deactivated my phone. Why would they do that? They said something about it being stolen. Well, they have one of those fix-it places here at the mall. Why don't you take it there and we'll see if they can get it working. Oh, good idea. I'll just take it over to the Apple Store. No, no, no. Never take it to the Apple Store. Mom, come on. The Apple Store is this way. Chad, I told you we can't go there. What do you think of this one? I think it's pretty good. Wait, that can't be. Why not? It's on sale. No, I'm talking about that lady. She's the one that stole my iPhone on the plane. Mom, yes we can. I have a friend that works at the Genius Bar. No, because that way they'll find out that it's- She stole my iPhone! The lady from the plane? What are you two doing here? Ah, we meet again. Looks like she got caught taking something else. Now it all makes sense! Yeah, she must have stole it while we were on the plane sleeping. Well, if you weren't such a fraidy cat, you'd already have it now. That's very clever, Chad. So he was lying about the iPhone. Yeah, and probably about the Peloton, too. That's the stolen iPhone! Hey, that doesn't belong to you. Where'd you get the phone, lady? Uh, I don't know. It's not mine. We know it's not yours because you took it. I didn't take it. My son Chad did. Well, it looks like we're taking you both in, then. Take him, not me! I didn't do anything! Looks like Karen is in big trouble for stealing an iPhone. But what happens when something even bigger gets stolen on a plane? What are you doing wasting time on games? You should be doing your homework. You know what? You're right. This is a waste of time. Finally, you admit it. Video games are a waste of time. No. Video games are sick. You got me this Xbox 360 when I was like nine. Fine. If you want to get the new one, you can buy it with your lawn mowing money. I wish. I don't have enough money for that. Well, your dad and I will loan it to you, but you have to pay it back before Christmas. That's great. Except one thing. All right, now what is it? I want to get a PlayStation 5 instead. That's what all the cool kids are getting now. Well, by all means, we wouldn't want you to have something that's not cool. Let's go get one right now. Fine, let's do it now before Dad gets home from work. Hi, we want to get a PS5? Yeah, do you have the Call of Duty bundle? No, we don't have anything PS5. What? Are you sold out or something? 
Yeah, we haven't had any in stock for months. <sighs> I knew this would happen. Do you have them at any other stores? Hmm, let me check. Oh, we actually do, but they're not very close to here. Oh, what's the nearest one? Uh, don't worry, honey, I'll drive. Um, we've got two in our Bangor store. Oh, where's that? Uh, probably the other side of town. Bangor, as in Bangor, Maine? Maine? That's like 2,000 miles from Denver. Can't they just ship it to us? PS5s? I'm sorry, it's in-store only. I'm sorry, honey. Well, do you have them at any other stores that are closer? The Tucson store has three. Well, I suppose they won't ship them either. Mom, we can go pick it up. Tucson's close. Well, you can put a deposit on it now, and they'll hold it till you get there. But that's still a plane ride. But it's short, and I've been a good kid. Shall we put that one aside for you? <sighs> well, I do have a lot of airline points. Yes, we want you to hold it. I'd be happy to. Billy wants a PS5, but there aren't any in town. Looks like he's gonna have to take a trip. I can't believe we're flying for a PS5. But it's worth it. I'll be like the coolest kid in school. Mom, why do we have to change flights in Phoenix? Because there are no non-stops to Tucson. <sighs> Fine. I just don't want to wait for my PS5 any longer. Excuse me, reserved a PS5? I don't think they have one. Seriously, we came all this way? <laughs> For this. Billy finally got his PS5. He should be playing it before bedtime. Excuse me, young man. You're gonna have to put that under the seat in front of you. Okay. It won't fit. Well, in that case, you're going to have to put it in the overhead compartment. I don't want to do that. Someone might take it. Okay, well give it to me and I'll put it in a secure one. No, no, no. It's fine. I'll do it. Oh man, they're so unreasonable. Before they get home to Denver, Billy and his mom have to wait in Phoenix to change planes. You're only permitted one carry-on bag plus one personal item. It's about time you got here. We need to be first in line. Well, all of the seats get into Denver at the same time. It's not every day we get to celebrate our grandson's 10th birthday. Are you sure he's going to like what you got for him? Well, of course he will. All little boys love sweaters. When he's in Denver, they're going to come in real handy. Well, when I was his age, all I could think about was toy pickup trucks and Legos. Well, all I know is he wants one of those PS5 thingies. Well, we should get him one. Do they sell them here at the gift shop at the airport? They're sold out everywhere. I've tried calling all over town. It must be because of that chip shortage I heard about on the news. That's why you can't buy a Ford or Chevy pickup right now. He doesn't want a pickup truck. He wants a PlayStation 5. Oh, you mean like one of those? What? Mom, I can't wait to play this PS5. Excuse me, where'd you get this PS5? I got it from Big Mart. Right here in Tucson. I've called them like three times. They said they didn't have any. Yeah, they were holding one for us. We came down here just for that. Well, it's my grandson's birthday, and it's the number one thing he wants in the world. Will you sell it to me? Nope, not for sale. What we're trying to say is we flew here from Denver just to buy this. I'll pay double plus the cost of your airline tickets. Sorry, no deal. Why don't you just buy him pajamas or a sweater or something? Pfft, I already did. So, how did it go? They're completely unreasonable. They wouldn't sell it to me. Maybe we could get him a gift certificate so he could buy one on his next birthday. Next birthday? Obviously, you don't know what it's like to be a 10-year-old boy. Rumor is I used to be one of those about 200 years ago, before electricity. This is no time for humor. 
Why don't you make yourself useful and go get me a double cappuccino? Right away, dear. Whiskin! I want to get some chicken nuggets. Can I have some money? Son, sit down. I'll go get it for you. Okay, uh, ten piece. Okay. Announcing the boarding of flight 114 to Denver at gate 46B. You wouldn't believe how hard it is to get one of these. It's a good thing you're here. We're boarding. Let's go. You go ahead. I'll catch up. It's looking like Karen's grandson is going to get a PS5 after all. <sighs> Good news, they have it in a to-go pack. Well, I'm glad you're here because they're boarding. Where's your PS5? What? Excuse me. How can I help you? My son's PlayStation. It's missing. PlayStation? We don't have those here. No, we flew to Tucson to get it. We're changing planes here in Phoenix. We're going home to Denver and now it's gone. So you're saying another passenger stole it? Yeah, and I think I know who it is. Older couple, this lady with orange hair, and I think she's on the plane. All right, I'm gonna go on board and check into this for you. Thank you, because there will be a 15-year-old boy who will be devastated if you can't find it. Wait right here, I'll be back. Excuse me, who does this belong to? Oh, that's mine. Ma'am, you're going to need to come with me. Is this it? Uh, yes. What's the nature of this? She took my PS5! No, I didn't. Don't listen to him. No, like I told you, we flew all the way down here to get it. And she tried to buy it off us. They have no proof. That PlayStation is mine. No, it's not. Do you know how many lawns I mowed to get that thing? You all wait here. I have to turn this over to security. Fine, I'll hold on to the PlayStation while you do. No! What's going on, Karen? They announced on the plane that the flight is being delayed. These people here are trying to steal my PlayStation. What's this about you both claiming this PS5? We're not claiming it. It's mine. Don't listen to him. Kids will say anything to get their way. Ma'am, what do you have to say about this? It's ours. We bought it today in Tucson, and we're flying back to Denver with it. Yeah. Well, this should be easy enough to solve. Exactly. Now give it to me, and I'll be on my way. Surely one of you has the receipt for this, so whoever has it gets the PS5. Mom, get it out of your purse, and we can get it back. Good idea. Oh, my receipt's on the plane. I'll go get it. That's fine. We'll be right here. Um, I'll need to take that PlayStation with me. This PlayStation isn't going anywhere, and I'm starting to have my doubts about you. <laughs> Honey, I can't find it. It's not in here. See? I told you it was mine. Well, go get your receipt, and we'll handle this. Billy, I don't think they gave me one. Well, did you check in the box? That's a good idea. Here it is. Great. Our name should be on it. There's no name on this. Just last four digits of a credit card. Mom, show oh. me your card. <laughs> Here's the card we used. That's a match. Here's your PS5. Thank you, mister. Just doing my duty. Can we board now? Wait. I have to take care of a certain passenger first. Do you think he's talking about the lady who tried to take the PS5? I can't imagine who else it would be. Where are you taking me? We have a special place for you. Uh, help me! What are you doing? I'll see you in Denver. What? Billy and his mom went cross-country to finally get a PS5. But it turns out Karen stole it in the airport to give it to her grandson. Hard work and patience is the way to achieve your goals in life, not dishonesty and stealing. Let us know in the comments what other videos you think we should make.